Well, excited to welcome in here on our one-on-one presented by Bob's Discount Furniture, Eagles linebacker TJ Edwards. TJ, thanks for joining me, man. Yeah, appreciate you having me. All right, well, let's talk about your background because you were a great athlete in high school, three-sport guy. You played football, you played basketball, you played baseball. I want to first start with the other sports outside of football, though. I know that you played basketball, and I, as I mentioned, you played baseball, too. How did those sports impact football at all? Did, the, did they at all? Did you take things from those two sports and apply them to the way that you play now? Yeah, it's difficult uh, to kind of correlate the, all three of them, but um, I think early on, you know, baseball was a, a, a big love of mine, probably the one that I liked the most, and uh, I had hoop dreams growing up, but, you know, as I progressed, I didn't grow as much, and kind of came to be 6-1, so I figured I should probably go a different route. Um, but I just think all in general, just help you play better with that sport that you continue, uh, you know, being versatile in terms of, um, you know, the coordination of, of the games and things like that help a lot. What position did you play in basketball? So in basketball, I was the one and two, um, and then baseball, uh, I'd play center, a little short, uh, depending on how I was hitting, would affect my, you know, spot in the lineup, but. <laughs> sure. So you were a, a point guard, you were a two guard in basketball. I know you played quarterback in high school. How did those two positions kind of correlate for you? Yeah, I think, um, you know, definitely playing point guard and playing quarterback, you're kind of used to uh, running the show. You know, you're kind of used to setting things up for everybody else and uh, making sure that everyone's on the same page. So I think, uh, you know, playing that in, in basketball definitely helped me a lot in terms of being comfortable of, of being in control, really. And I know that you played both ways your senior year. Did you play both ways, uh, offense and defense, in, uh, in high school? Um, so my senior year, I played like three or four games at, at safety, but it was, uh, you know, my junior and senior year were mostly all just quarterback. So it was really when I got to college, when I first really started playing defense full time. Sure. And what was that transition like for you? I know you redshirted your first year at Wisconsin. Was that all just, all right, I'm just, I'm going to get completely embedded on the defensive side of the football. And then that was part of the transition. Yeah, and you know, just the jump from high school to college of the weight program and the the physicality of the game and things like that definitely helped me a lot with that year. Um, but I just think you know, going in, it was a, a little different just because you know I've always you know been playing quarterback or playing playing offense and things like that. But I always just loved the physicality of the game, um, so I knew that linebacker would be uh, be a good fit. And uh, being in the middle of the defense, there's no really better spot to be. I know there are a lot of people kind of make that easy transition in terms of like, oh, well, quarterback on offense, now you go to linebacker, yeah. quarterback of the defense. Are there things that do carry over, or is that kind of like a, a lazy trope on our side from the media standpoint? <laughs> I think it's a little bit of both. You know, it's it's obviously, okay. you know, different levels. You know, you're going from high school to college, so the, games beca the game becomes more intricate and more uh, detailed and things like that. But um, I just think, you know, going from a quarterback to a middle linebacker, you are really comfortable of being in the center of things and um, kind of making sure that everyone's on the same page so um, if anything that's the part that really helped me the most to be honest with you how much of playing you know, in the middle of the defense and being that guy for Wisconsin because I mean you were like, right from your redshirt freshman year you became an immediate starter how much how important is that part of it you know not even what you're doing once the the ball is snapped but just getting those guys lined up making the calls taking the signals in from the sideline how much of that is a, a big part of playing the middle linebacker position yeah, I mean, I think it's, you know, it's it's a very big part of your job. Um, you know, obviously the the production and in terms of what you do when the ball is snapped is a, is a huge part, but uh, the defense relies on you to make sure to, you know, that we're in the right checks, we're in the right calls. And um, if, you know, they don't have that confidence in you to, you know, make those calls or know what you're doing, then um, there's going to be a lot of guys that are out of spots and out of positions. So uh, at all times, you really have to be, you know, on point in what you're doing. And it's definitely uh, one of the biggest things that we do, no doubt. So one of my favorite parts watching you at Wisconsin, I watched you as a junior, I watched you as a senior. You, first of all, you see things very, very quickly. And then you also take great angles to the football, whether it's downhill or laterally. Can you talk about how important is that uh, to playing linebacker and understanding how to get – because not, you're not a, a highly productive player from a tackle standpoint without that trait. Uh, just explain that for the, for the fans, for the people at home, how important that part of it is to the position. Yeah, I mean, I think uh, I, I taught. I was taught at a young age that angles and leverage is everything uh, playing linebacker. So, um, you know, seeing what's happening in front of you and being able to react off that is um, definitely good traits to what makes a good linebacker. Something that I try to do, you know, every time. I think there's definitely some merit to you know shooting gaps and kind of. Um, kind of just playing wild to the ball at times. I think there's definitely some you know merit to that, definitely. But um, you know, being able to decipher plays and, and run through gaps when they're there, and also take good angles to make sure that the play isn't 
you know, broken is uh, something that I definitely try to do. Well, TJ, you're just wrapping up year two of your NFL career. Last question for you before we let you go. Is there one part of playing the position here in the NFL that you feel is not talked about enough? We've talked about a couple of the small things uh, so far that maybe isn't talked about with fans and media, but is there another aspect of the position you feel deserves a little bit more play? Um, you know, I think it's tough because I think every every position on the field, uh, there's ins and outs that I'm sure a lot of people don't know about. And uh, I'm sure a lot of people think things are, you know, very easy when they're uh, complete opposite of that. So I think you can say it for a lot of uh, different position groups in, in terms of, but I think you'd really have to kind of be able to, you know, be in it to see, though, how difficult it is. It's kind of hard to explain, but you just got to go out there and, and do your job and, and make sure that, you know, guys are lined up, make sure that you're, you know, in the right fits and making the plays that come to you and, um, you know, having the defense rally behind you. So I think it's it's a definitely, you know, I'm blessed to play the position I'm playing and um, just want to keep getting better every day. Well, TJ, it's been fun watching you here and you too. Excited for year three. Stay safe, stay healthy. Thanks, thanks once again for joining us here on our 101 presented by Bob's Discount Furniture. Yes, sir. Thanks for having me, Fran. Thank you.